How to use the Colour Picker tool in Affinity Designer for iPad. Another video in the series. So first, open Affinity Designer on your iPad. And you can see the Colour Picker tool on the right of your design area, having created your design area to start with as per a previous video. And you tap on the colour, the colour button, which is in the top right hand side there, and the colour picker tool will display as you see there. Now, if you select the eyedropper in the colour picker palette and continue to hold it down, you can then drag the circle over anything in the design area and release it to select the colour. So you have to put your Apple Pencil or your fingertip on the eyedropper and drag it across onto your design area where you'll find a colour. And in this case, we've got red or green or blue. And you can see I've touched the colour picker tool. And when you do that, the new colour will appear in the circle next to the eyedropper. So I've dragged the eyedropper across onto the red object and then released it. And the circle next to the eyedropper will change to the colour that you've selected. To apply, to apply the colour to an object, select your shape and then click on that little circle next to the eyedropper, the swatch next to the eyedropper. So with your triangle selected, which was previously green, but I changed the swatch to red by dragging the eyedropper onto the red square, then you go back, select your triangle and tap on the little circle next to the eyedropper and it will change the colour of whatever you have selected. There's also an eyedropper on the left toolbar you can use. When using the eyedropper from the left toolbar it works essentially the same as the one in the colour tool and in this case I've dragged it across to the blue item and selected blue. And let's change the little blue circle next to the eyedropper in the top right hand side to blue. Another way to create colours for the eye picker is to select swatches in the colour picker tool. Now I've got a comic image there and you can see I've created a palette and selected different colours from there to add to the palette. Now what you do if you want to change colours is Select one of the colours in the palette, and that changes the colours in the top there. You can see next to the eyedropper, and the other two are the pink that I've selected. In a drop-down box, you can create a colour palette from the photo you are using, or a different photo you select. So watch the video, and you can see I'm dragging the circle down. I'm looking for a colour to select, and I want that purple that's in the hair. You can see the little swatch circle next to the eyedropper is now purple. I've touched that and it's changed the other colours to purple. They've added it to the palette. So the purple is now in the palette. Thank you for watching and subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you subscribe and like, that's very much appreciated.